Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a review of how to multiply and divide integers, and we're going to be working with both positive and negative integers. We'll start with how to multiply. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative seven times positive four. We have a negative times a positive, so we are working with different signs. Now, when we're working with different signs, this tells us our product, the answer to a multiplication problem, will be negative. So negative seven times four. Well, seven times four is 28, and then we know this product is negative because we are working with different signs. So this is negative 28, and that's our final answer. To recap, different signs equal a negative product. So if we have a negative times a positive, that will equal a negative product, or if we have a positive times a negative, that will equal a negative product. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 10 times negative six. So we have the same signs there. We have two negative numbers. So our product will be positive. So let's think, 10 times six is 60, and we have the same signs there. So this is going to be a positive 60. Our final answer, 60. So to recap, same signs equals a positive product. So negative times a negative equals a positive product, and then a positive times a positive also equals a positive product. That's how we multiply integers. Let's move on to division. So here are our examples for dividing integers, and you'll notice that our rules are the same for dividing integers as they were for multiplying integers as far as working with those positives and negatives, and if we're working with the same signs or different signs. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative 48 divided by negative eight. For now, let's just think of this as 48 divided by eight, and what that quotient will be. Remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. So 48 divided by eight is six. So let's write a six here. And now we need to determine if our quotient is positive or negative. Well, we had a negative divided by a negative. So anytime we have the same signs in our original problem, our quotient is positive. So same signs, positive quotient. So negative 48 divided by negative eight equals a positive six. Now let me back up here and further explain same signs. So same signs would be a negative divided by a negative, like number one, that equals a positive, and then also a positive divided by a positive equals a positive. Let's move on to number two, where we have 36, a positive 36, divided by negative four. So let's think of this as 36 divided by four, which is nine. Now we need to determine if that quotient is positive or negative. Well, we have a positive divided by a negative. So we have different signs. Different signs, that is a negative quotient. So negative nine there. 36 divided by negative four equals negative nine. So for different signs, that means a positive divided by a negative, like number two, that equals a negative, and then a negative divided by a positive, 
equals a negative. So there you have it. There's how you multiply and divide integers. If you need any more help or examples, I dropped links to more videos and examples down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.